seeing uh, uh, RFK, you're seeing Vivek, you're seeing different names coming. Mm. You know, RFK is now in the conversations. We're you know scheduling something Marion for Williams a podcast. Is fantastic, by the way. So, so the question will be: the, the, What are some wild cards that we're not even? Chris Christie says in two weeks I'm going to go in, and I know Trump is afraid of debating me all this. But who are some wild cards that nobody is thinking about that could be potential stars in the 2024 or? We pretty much already know who it is. No one else is going to get into it. Yeah, I think we know who it is. You're going you're to see people pop up because they want to sell books. Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, AOC pops in. I think it's a very low probability for Ocasio-Cortez. Oh, God. But she's, got, she's famous enough. Is she, she even she, 35? She will be, yes. And so she, she is eligible, I'm pretty sure. Um, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. But uh, uh, I think we know who it's going to be. Um, she's eligible by two weeks. She's going to be, yeah. she'll be 35 uh, October 13th of... Uh, Two weeks before election, so she's 33 right now. Actually, uh, I think it's uh, you have to be 35 before it being inaugurated, which means oh, so if her good. birthday was the day before inauguration, I right. think that would still keep her uh, make her eligible. Very disappointed. Right, let, she's well, a Libra. Let's but. live in reality right now, for at least for now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. On, I think man. she's got 10 years for oh, yeah. her. Wait a minute, but they're going to vote her. That's she's a star. Get vote. Yeah, gonna... AOC is a star. doesn't mean you have to agree with man, the politics. And everyone laughs she's at She's a star for the left. You're right. And Everyone laughed at Trump, and she is... If You see what will happen with an AOC is, I think... The media will prop her up as uh, a star Democrat, which which uh, default liberals, they're described as, would just vote for. She will capture the progressive left in a way that no Democrat candidate can. Yeah. I mean, come on, Biden. Yeah. Hey, dude, Sleepy Joe is not going to cut it this time around. There's there's no pandemic and, and to, to, to keep people uh, you know locked up. Yeah. And, and we uh, me and Adam had a well, we still haven't bet on it because you were in Vegas. You should have done it. We, we bet that um, besides Biden. Gavin Newsom would probably be the guy to slide in. We just had another conversation, Tim. I don't want to say no names, but this guy looked at us and goes, do not be surprised if out of nowhere, Michelle Obama just yes. goes, you know what? Here I go. Because she's denied, denied, denied. Which one do you think is a more reasonable, like either uh, Michelle or or Gavin? Or, or they I, both go? Gavin, people think Gavin is going to be the guy. I but I, you, you never know, man. And it, and it is relatively early, but I... I'm not so convinced Michelle Obama would want to do it, but I do think there's a very strong chance of winning. However, ask me a year or two ago, I probably would have said Michelle Obama would win in a landslide. And I mean that figuratively, not literally. I mean, she'd win by like a strong margin. Uh, now, I'm not so convinced. You know, uh, I, I like to hang out at the the, the, the casinos on the, on the weekend, play poker. Huh. And I'm at MGM National Harbor. This, this is, is a, in West Virginia? No, it's, it's a great hotel, oh, MGM National okay. Harbor. They, yeah, they just it, built it a few years ago. It's a beautiful location. Beautiful. On the water, yeah. incredible. In Maryland? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. It's, it's, I just stayed there. When it's I was just there. south of DC, yeah. but it is Maryland. It's yeah, it was, beautiful I, I literally location. Literally stayed there. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. A whole little area. This is this this is DC. Yeah. This is as blue as it gets. Yeah. And I'm yeah. sitting at a poker table. Not a single person at that table had anything nice to say about Joe Biden or Donald Trump. But they all said, yeah. I don't know, man. I can't vote for Joe Biden. And that felt to me kind of like a I don't want to say I'll vote for Trump, but I'm probably going to vote for Trump if yeah. he's the guy. Because Joe a lot Biden of that. is. There's a lot of that going on. Let me give you another name because you live in West Virginia. You might like him, you might hate him. I don't know, but I'm going to throw this out there. I actually like your senator, Joe Manchin. Nobody likes him in West Virginia. But how does he keep getting elected? He's not going to get as elected. A, no, 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 no. He's been elected you for the last 40 heart. years. He's yeah. devastated. Hear me you out ruined this weekend, guys. Tim. Yeah. He's whether or not he gets elected for the fiftieth time. He goes to nightclubs wearing Joe Manchin shirts. Hundred percent. But he's been elected as a Democrat in the reddest state in the country, or one of the reddest states of the country, continually mm -hmm. as a Democrat. How does he do it? How does he continue to do it? I mean, I'm whether he continues or not, but he's done it already. The proof is in the pudding. Firstly, I'm in the Eastern Panhandle, which is an hour from DC, 15 yeah. minutes from Frederick, big cities, and it's it's like a it's like a moderate area that leans right. Mm -hmm. And then you get into the core of West Virginia, and it is MAGA country. It's eighty-six percent. I mean, granted, right. the people who live around me are all diehard Trump, uh, because this country used to be fairly moderate. Because Democrats and you look at Joe Manchin's politics, and he's fairly conservative in a lot of ways. Yeah. So back when he did run, I mean, what was it twenty eighteen? I think he got reelected. The, the the country was relatively different, and people were still willing to say, "Yeah, Democrat Republican." But now, you think we've changed that much? Dude, in people four won't even years. drink Bud Light. <laughs> I'm, at, I'm at the casino. I'll punch you right in the face right now, Tim Cast. There, there, there's an old guy, and he's just like, I ain't drinking that. And I'm like, do you yeah. even know why you're not drinking that? It's just the culture wars have become yeah. so pronounced. That's why I was saying I think Peter Thiel's wrong about DeSantis. The the hyperpolarization of this country is 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 the conversation. So I just think I go to I go to, I'm hanging out in West Virginia. There's not a single person I have ever met who says they would vote for Joe Manchin. 
you've got too many great options. You've got you Jane mean, Justice. You mean now? Right now. Okay, got you. So you think things have transformed that much in the last four years? Yep. That someone who's been a Democrat in Mansion, MAGA if, country. If Mansion switches parties, yeah. he might stand a chance. Wow. Yeah. Nice. But you've got uh, Mooney, who I believe is running. He's the he represents West Virginia's first, and the the Trump people love him. You have Jim Justice, the governor, who is term term limited out, and he's going to run for Senate. And well, they've they've elected him, you know, to to a term limit, so people seem to like him. I'm not going to pretend to know enough. Uh, everything about West Virginia politics. I've only been here for a couple of years, but just my general understanding from being there and talking to people, we actually just went to a dinner, a Republican dinner uh, this past weekend. No one there likes me. Not a single person had anything nice to, anything nice to say about him. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.